Hello, welcome back to my channel. We are hitting up Aldi today. I'm gonna show you guys our full grocery haul, gonna show you our meal prep plans for the week, meal ideas, all that good dietitian-y stuff. I'm also wanting to hit up the thrift store on the way to Aldi and see if they have any books. You guys know I am like in deep in my reading era right now. I've read 35 books so far this year. It is April, which is more than I've read in the last like decade, I'm pretty sure. And I usually read ebooks from the library or I listen to audiobooks, but I am wanting to grow my like office library, but also I don't want to spend a ton of money. I'm a, a pretty cheap gal, as you guys may know. So anyway, we're going to go hit up the thrift store, then Aldi, then come back home, and I'm going to show you some meal prep and meal ideas. Part of our meal prep this week, though, is going to be making a loaf of sourdough. And I fed Jane Doe last night, so she is active and bubbly. You can hear it, maybe. Is the mic getting that? I don't know. I guess we'll see in post. But we're gonna make a loaf of sourdough. We're gonna get it started right now, so that way it does some of its rising while we're gone, hitting up our errands. First up, we've got one and a quarter cup of water. Then we're going in with one cup of our starter. Then we mix. And then we're going in with three cups of bread flour. I'm really just eyeballing it to get the texture that I want. The sourdough purist will use a food scale and like really get into it, but I'm not doing all that. I'm gonna cover her up and let her rest until we get back. <sighs> okay, well, let's go shopping. Real quick fit check. I found like the first ever bodysuit that fits my long ass torso. The problem is I kind of look like a newborn baby. I don't know, it's like, it's like I'm wearing a onesie. And I know it's like in style and it's really comfy, I like it. It has like an open back and like you can adjust the straps, but it's giving off to daycare. It's comfy though. It is gorgeous outside today. All right, let's go see what we can get our hands on at the thrift store. I did find a couple books. We got Where the Crawdads Sing, which I have never read. And I have decided I'm going to grow my Harry Potter collection. I don't have any books yet. And this is number seven. <laughs> so I'm kind of working backwards here. But if you guys don't know, I am reading the Harry Potter series for the first time. I am on book four. And I've been reading them all at the library. But I do want to slowly get all of the books thrifted if I can. This was two bucks. This was three. Very excited about that. All right, that was the haul. Next up, we're gonna go to Aldi. We'll see what we can get into. So there's another thrift store on the way to Aldi. <laughs> we're gonna go in there too and see if we can find any other books or clothes or trinkets. We'll see, we'll see. A few moments later. You guys, the way I just gasped at what I found. First of all, cool, new button down. I love these, whatever, not exciting. What was exciting is that I found all four Twilight books for what I thought was gonna be a dollar each. Turns out it is 50% off day. So I got each of these for 50 cents. So for $2, I got all four of the Twilight books. Sadly, there were not any other books that I was interested in. I would have gone all out and gotten like so many books. But even these four, which are upside down, I realize, 50 cents each. So I've gotten six books today for like under $10. Let's finally do the thing that we sought out to do. Let's go, let's go to Aldi.
Oh my goodness, I missed you so much. All right, guys, we are back. I'm gonna show you the full Aldi haul, but I also wanna show you a few fun things that I found at Walmart. Ross requested that I get him some ice cream. <laughs> And so I went to go see if they had anything new. No new ice creams. So I got him Cool Whip. He loves this blue bunny terrific cheesecake. Actually though, one thing I did find that I think is new to me is a Nutty Bar ice cream bar. Very excited about that. And then I was perusing around and I also found this lemon blueberry swirl bread. And then my most exciting find Fiery Mango Baja Doritos. But I'm gonna get the ice cream put away and then get the haul assembled, then I'll walk you through everything I got. I'm also gonna change and put my hair up because this hat is just like driving me crazy. I found so many fun things today, I could not wait to show you. Let's start over here with the only meat that we got was this pork loin. I'm going to throw it in the Instapot and shred it and just have it with like rice and a veggie. I only got this for meat because I've got a lot of stuff in the freezer. I went to Costco last week and I got just a ton of chicken. So I'm all good on meat in the freezer. So all I got was this. One fun thing I found was this hot honey goat milk cheese. I'm thinking I'm gonna have it with the sourdough that I'm making. And I also got crackers to go with it if I think it'd be better with that. But that will just be like a fun little snack for me to have this week. Also in the cheese category, got some Colby Jack. I am probably gonna cut this into cubes like we did last time and just have it for snacking. And then sliced cheese, I got some Havarti. Moving on to carbs, got some tortillas. We go through these like crazy. Got some buns, don't have a lot of ideas for them. If I end up not serving this with rice, it'd be really good as pulled pork on some buns. Needed some tortilla chips just to have like with chips and salsa or taco salad just to like have on hand for whatever. I get these every time I go to Aldi. They are my favorite protein bar that does not taste like a protein bar. They don't have that like chalky whey protein flavor, but they do have 10 grams of protein. And what I love most is the five grams of fiber. And they have some fats in there too. So they're very, very filling. I love these. Moving down the line, got a bunch of Gatorade zeros for Ross, mostly for his work. He gets super sweaty at work when it starts to get warmer outside. So these are gonna be starting to be in the rotation more regularly now. Also for Ross, he loves these caffeine like squirt flavor thing, so that's for him. My next fun thing that I found is this Haagen-Dazs cultured cream, they call it. I wonder if it's gonna taste like a really, really decadent yogurt. I'm very curious. I've never had this before. I'm not quite sure what to expect, but I mean, we love Haagen-Dazs, so I'm sure it's gonna be great. Also found this Siggy's flavor, vanilla and cinnamon. And then I love these whole milk toasted coconut. I get these all the time. What I've really been enjoying is this with my chia seed pudding and then some berries on top. We're actually gonna prep some chia seed pudding today for that reason. Okay, and then I found just like so many fun different sauces. This I got mostly for Ross to try. Lemon lime hot sauce. We'll see how that is. I've been wanting to get a Japanese style barbecue ever since I've seen it at Costco. But at Costco, it's like this really giant thing of it that I just don't want to spend money on. But at Aldi, this was like two or three bucks. I am not quite sure what I'm gonna use this for yet, but I'm very excited about it. Needed some soy sauce, something very exciting. And then I like to get this for just like an easy dinner type sauce. I'll actually throw this on like frozen chicken nuggets a lot of times. I'll air fry them toss them in this and then have a side of rice and like green beans or broccoli or something. Super easy. We love convenience foods sometimes. These were in like the special finds area, some baked beans, another easy side dish. I love how they say excellent source of fiber. Fiber is becoming trendy and that is something that I actually am excited about. But yeah, serving of these has six grams of fiber, which is awesome. Okay, another fun thing. I love when Aldi has their fun whip toppings. They always are coming out with new ones. This one will be so good on coffee. I cannot wait. Not exciting, but I did get some restock of parchment paper and plastic wrap. More exciting though is they had stasher bags today. I love my stasher bags because they are freezer safe. They're super duper sturdy. I use them for travel a lot. I'll put like my travel size, like shampoo, conditioner and stuff in here. They're pretty pricey. So when I see them at Aldi, I'm gonna snag one. And then finally, because we do indeed eat produce despite what the internet thinks. These mangoes were 69 cents each, great deal. And they're not overripe. They're not even ripe at all yet. I'm wanting to make some ramen this week. I'm gonna actually soft boil some eggs today for that. So we've got mushrooms for that. We've also got this green onion for that. And then I also have frozen 
shredded carrot. I'm gonna thaw out that and we'll use that as well. Strawberries were a great deal again because we're finally entering strawberry season. These look really, really good. I'm so excited that we're entering tasty, juicy berry season. These are on sale, some mini cucumbers. I have some tomatoes in the fridge from Costco last week. I was thinking about doing cucumbers, tomatoes, and then this goat cheese, like a little cucumber salad kind of thing. I think that'll be good. And then finally, some Boston lettuce. I'll put this on sandwiches or we'll have like just little salads with side dishes. We usually have some kind of lettuce in the fridge most weeks. And that's the haul guys. I'm gonna get this all put away and then we're gonna do a little bit of ingredient prep using these ingredients as well as some other things that we have on hand. So hang tight, I'm gonna get all this put away and then we will do our prep. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how that happened. Needed a little meal prep fuel. All right, we really don't have a whole lot of prep to do. We're gonna soft boil some eggs, cut up our fruits and veg, make some chia seed pudding, and cut that cheese into cubes. And I think that's it. Nothing too crazy. Let's start with getting some water boiled for our eggs. We can quickly throw together our chia seed pudding. We're gonna do one cup of milk, quarter cup of chia seeds, a little bit of vanilla extract, and then finally some liquid stevia. You could do any sweetener that you like. I'm gonna leave this here on the side and keep stirring it until the chia seeds get suspended before we put it in the fridge overnight. In the meantime, let's do some fruits and veg. See, this is why we don't just put it in the fridge. The chia seeds just sink. So we gotta do some intermittent stirring. I'm gonna throw all of the blackberries and raspberries in one, and then the strawberries we're gonna cut and put into a different one. If you don't go through your berries really quick, I would not wash them right away because they, they go bad a lot faster once they get wet. But we tend to eat fruit pretty quick, so I went ahead and washed it, so all we gotta do is grab it out of the fridge when it's time to eat it. Actually, you know what I wanna do? I'm gonna use some of this to make like a chia raspberry blackberry pudding. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be great on our sourdough bread that we're making. Okay, I know I'm all over the place, but our water is boiling, so we're gonna get our eggs in their bath. To get these eggs to like a soft boil, we're going to boil them for about seven or eight minutes. For our chia seed pudding, we're literally just doing these berries. I'm gonna throw in some of this lemon flavored creamed honey that I've got at the farmer's market, and then our chia seeds. We're gonna mash it all together. I don't really measure this, I just kind of throw everything together. Now we mash. If you have frozen berries instead of fresh, you could just microwave them so they get soft and then do the same ingredients and do it the same way. It's the year of fiber, y'all. You could totally eat this right away, but if you let it sit in the fridge, the chia seeds soak up the liquid from the berries and it becomes like a thick jelly. Now, why aren't you going on there? Into the fridge she goes. Also, our chia seed pudding is soaking up the liquid, so I think she's good to go in the fridge too. I don't know what I'd do without chia seeds, honestly. Before we finish these berries up, these eggs are done now. So we're gonna drain this water and then get them into an ice bath. We're gonna let these guys take their little ice bath while we finish the rest of the prep. And then the last thing we'll do is peel these and get them in the fridge. Okay, back to our berries. We're gonna chop the strawberry tops off and just put them in this container. All right, berries are ready for snacking or throwing onto our chia seed pudding. Let's get these cucumbers washed up as well. I'm not sure exactly what shape I'll want these in yet, so we're just gonna cut the ends off, really. And then when I do go to eat them, I can just like snack on it like this, or we can cut it a little bit smaller into whatever shape I want. And that took all of about 15 seconds. We're gonna get these green onions all chopped up and ready to use. Tight squeeze. Let's cut the cheese, peel the eggs, and then we're finally done.
perfect every time. The final lid of the final ingredient. Ooh. And that's our ingredient prep. We are done. I do still need to finish the sourdough today. It's sort of an all day affair. I'm not gonna show you in this video the rest of the steps, but if you go watch this video here, I take you through the entire process. We spend the whole day together. If you want to see how I finish the sourdough, go give that one a watch. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like this one. If there's anything that I'm not sharing in these meal prep or grocery hauls that you want to learn more about, let me know. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe so you are always in the know when I'm posting new grocery haul and meal prep videos. Thanks again for watching. I will see you next time.